So, why doesn't my channel make as much as some other p people? Um, I'll be honest with you, it's... With the Philippines stuff, it's because I'm not in the Philippines. I'm a year or so behind people on that regard, because while they were making videos for their YouTube channel, I was actually in the UK, so uh, from that point of view, I'm a bit behind. Um, so it will take a bit of time to get there. We're nearly a million views now, and I know, I think Rike is about three million, so he's ahead of me. He's, he's got a couple of years on me. And I, I don't mind, because I don't do this for money in the first place. I'll be honest with you, what I do it for is... I do it to share information, but also I'm selling a way of life. Here I am in Spain, and I'll be honest with you, this bottle of wine costs less than one euro. Um, in the UK, I can't find wine for under three quid. Um, this is part of the lifestyle choice. And you think, oh my God, Matt's drinking every week or whatever. No, this is the this is the first bottle of wine I've had in two months, I think. Um, but I, I had a good day today, so I'm enjoying some wine. But it all gets down to lifestyle choices, and I, I think in society today, too many people are told they haven't got those choices. They're sold on debt. Um, you're talked into getting credit cards, you're talked into getting a mortgage, you're talked into leaving home at a younger age because it helps fuel the housing boom that is just a debt. Mm -hmm. It's not a happy place. Now, if you said to me, Matt, I want to leave home, I'll say, right, live in your sitting room and rent out every room in the house you can and get them to pay your mortgage off. That would be me. Um, I had a friend do that for Australia because he, he was with a girl for a long period of time since they've been together since um, school. And then she had an affair and he basically had been in the same job since they left school as well. So he suddenly realized this wasn't for him um, because his whole life had revolved around the house, his ex, etc., etc. Um, what does he do now? Uh, he sold his house, he went to Australia for a year, and then he, I bumped into him in the UK, which is how I know his story, because um, he was back at the same factory making money to go back to Australia. Um, he had changed his life, he had changed his perspective, he had understood the calling of other countries. And I know my last couple of videos, I sound quite angry relating to the, the way the UK has become. It's because it's what it's become. Um, the UK should be a country of opportunity, but it's not. I can go there and earn money. Money is not an object for me. This is why somebody asked me about, well, if you can make a million pounds, why don't you do it? It's like, well... I don't do stuff for money. I do stuff for what I want to do. Um, this week has got a couple of things going on. I might video some it today, actually, well, tomorrow morning, because uh, I've got a meeting, and you'll see a load of wholesale stock. Because, um, you know, I've been talking about doing stock. Well, we've been doing stock. Um, but I'll show you some of the stuff that's available. See, the thing with me is, with this stock, I can get it day in day out if you're in germany netherlands france wherever we can sell you this stock um we are looking for people to work with so you don't have to be rich you know you, if you could handle a pallet or half a pallet that's enough to get you going um that's why you see a lot of people on ebay become ebay millionaires as such um because they they take the risk on some stock and it sort of develops a business from nothing. Um, I've done it before when I did the bed store with my ex-partner's brother. Um, he sold me his business because he was doing more money on the courier stuff. So he said, Matt, do you want to buy it? Um, I took the business from £450 to £2,500 in a week doesn't sound a big jump until I said I made £120,000 in six months. Um, 
that's profit, not stock. The stock value had also increased on a weekly basis as well. What, was I doing something spectacular? The answer is no. Do you know what the the uh, the element of here that people don't really talk about that are rich people? They will risk everything on a regular basis. See, I can't do it now because I've got the kids. And if it was just me in April, I'd be a bit more risque on ventures. Um, but with my kids, I won't put myself in that position. Um, purely because I'm not gambling my own stuff. I'm gambling the whole family. Um, does it hinder me? The answer is, I'd say no. Um I've made stupid amounts of money before and I'll do it again. Uh, the stock stuff this week will be an interesting one because it's a new venture in a country that I'm not fluent in, in the language. Um, so that will be an interesting element to my life. <laughs> uh, but also, there is some software stuff I'm working on which may have its first client sold in the next two weeks. If that's sold, that already is going to be a huge chunk of money, um, multi-tiered. Um, there is a lot of stuff going on I don't really discuss on YouTube um, because I have client confidentialities. Um, doesn't mean you can't do it, it just means you need to look at what you're capable of, what the products are, etc. Et understanding what you do and finding the niches to make some money on. My case is I know where there's a load of software that is absolutely shockingly not very good. Um, as such, I have something I can replace it with, which is not only faster, um, more reliable, cheaper, it's also stable and well supported. So I'm already working on that. The company I'm working with has struggled to sell it for the last couple of years. The advantage I have is I already have a huge network of people. Um, although I'm pretty brutal in the FM industry, I'm also known for actually telling the truth, um, which companies don't really like, but at the same time they often want or need somebody to do that um, to put things on the right path. Um, so as such, I've got quite a good phone book. So I've got stuff going on with that, and there's nothing to stop you doing something similar. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. If you turn around and say you can't do it, the only person that's stopping you doing it is yourself. Um, I can't say it any other way than that. This is what I'm saying. I sell a lifestyle. I make lifestyle choices. If, if I turn around and say my friend Steve in Spain um, is a multimillionaire, you may believe me or maybe not, but the fact is that me and Steve have known each other for years and Keith owns that building that where the uh, units are available for rent for the um, individual desks. But, he's, but he also owns a lot of other stuff. He owns bars and restaurants, etc., etc. Um, he's done pretty well for himself in Spain. People bond together that know people on the right wavelength. It's as simple as that. If, if I get somebody selling me a duff deal, I will tell them to go, you sell it to me. I don't have to sell it to I don't have to sell it to you. Because if I'm committing to it, I need to know that that product is A, worth the investment of time, never mind money, but also that you believe in the product yourself. Because most of the stuff that is sold around the world is nothing spectacular. It's about trust. It's about people actually believing in what they're selling and believing in what they're doing. That bridges more gaps than anything else. You could sell um, snow to Eskimos, sand to um, nomads. Basically, if you know what you're selling and it seems better than what they already got. It's even better when it is actually better than what they got, which is what I normally look for. But the, the whole point of this video is, is don't look at the U channel, YouTube channel from one angle, which is, oh, Matt's readers, Matt's this, uh, subscribers, etc. The subscribers are growing on a regular basis. Um, but also you've got to look at the fact that I don't manipulate it for SEO. 
Um, I proved a point this week you may not have noticed by putting a Manny Pacquiao video in there. And I did it in such a way to prove that if I want to manipulate things, I can manipulate them a lot more than most other people can. Um, it's already gained something like 45,000 viewings. Uh, that is how you can manipulate stuff. But I don't manipulate it. I don't like manipulating stuff. I'm not doing this channel for that. Um, YouTube doesn't pay me enough. Um, I do the channel because I like talking to people, I like informing them, I like giving people a chance to develop their ideas, and I like knowing when people have actually succeeded in what they're doing. Um, there was somebody talking to me recently about, oh, I need to develop this, they, they do um, car hire. And they're talking about redeveloping their website and chasing all that sort of stuff. I'll tell you what, shove it on YouTube. YouTube is easier to sell to it's heavily backed by Google that own it and as such you will find that instead of fighting SEO with backlinks and all this nonsense for SEO hierarchy on your um, videos relating to your car hire in the town you're in you will jump the ranks purely because I bet none of your competing businesses have got video if you look at the way Google ranks video they're at the top don't need to say any more than that. Um, and it's not hard to do. It's not hard to do. If you're honest, got a good business, etc., you'll sell yourself. Um, and I say that because if you want to make money on YouTube, that's probably the best way for a small business to do it, is actually not concentrate on the YouTube stuff itself, but actually promoting your business. Because if you get, um, let's say you do. Um, chartered boats off Cebu Island right I do a video because I've got, I've got loads of stuff on the Philippines Rike does a video from I think he's in uh, Bohol side so he could char do it from that side um, Ned could do a video different people around could do videos and the traffic off that would promote your business without even breaking into a sweat and then if you promote your own business and tie all these things together, you will find you'll get those bookings. Because I'll be honest with you, the world is so annoying because its attention span is microscopic. Videos, they will sit and watch. Get them to read a document or a book, you're struggling these days. <laughs> um, to the point that you're sort of going, oh my, you know, um, because if people spend more time researching things as people used to do um, they would actually be better informed uh, because a lot of stuff on YouTube for example is limited to a person's viewpoint as soon as they start going into the legalities and everything else people go click what's the next video they lose interest it's bizarre like that but this is also why this channel does not make as many hits and stuff as other people because the videos are very very specific talking about tiling for example how many people talk about tiling not many uh, what about plumbing pipe work what about all the murders and stuff not many um, the focus on mine is very different from most other channels because I focus on the stuff where you could lose money. I focus on the stuff that has an impact on a lot of people's lives. As such, it's not going to get a lot of hits. I don't care though because at the end of the day, if I save three, one, five, ten people's lives over the years from the information they received, I already got what I wanted, which was to make a difference. Now, the other thing is the positive impact has already gone above that. It's surprising how many people actually approach me and say, Matt, I moved to the Philippines because of what you've said. In Spain, there's currently several people here because of the YouTube stuff. Um, it may sound a bit strange that people would uproot and move based on the information from another individual, but they do. And they understand it because we're like-minded. If you take Andy, for example, Andy develops SEO, he develops websites, etc. He doesn't need to be in the UK. The UK overtaxes him. 
and giving him access to Spain, he has reduced his cost of living and increased his quality of life. Um, it's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. There is other ways to live life, and there's a difference between working for somebody else and working for yourself. And for me, I just enjoy life. Simple as that. I do what I like. Um, sometimes it's stressful because making it happen is n not an easy feat. Um, but at the same time, when things do come together, you come out ahead. And that's all I can say on the subject. So if you're wondering why it's not as successful as others, it's because it's very specific. It's very specific to a lot of subjects that are not relevant to the average expat going in the Philippines. If you're a retiree, you don't want to know how to make money in the Philippines, you want to retire. If you're looking at doing business, you're already a small minority of people moving to the Philippines. If you're in your 20s to your early 50s, you're already a minority as well. So my niche is much smaller than others. But at the same time, I hope it helps. Thanks for watching.